Hello friends, Jeanette here with Vivo Vintage Designs. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how I created these petals with these gorgeous ripples. And um, you're going to need pitch black, photo paper, some Posca pens, and then in this bottle I have a mixture of alcohol and pitch black. Now I can't tell you exactly how much alcohol to ink I have in the bottle. If I find it too dark, I add more alcohol, and if I find it too light, I add more ink. I'm also going to be using the Ranger Liquid Pearl Dimensional Paints to create the center for this particular flower. So I've put down some pitch black in the center, and now I have the PSI set at 40. And you can see here that I'm using, using short spurts of air, and to move the ink towards the uh, center of the paper and then I'm going around the puddle of ink with the airbrush instead of blowing it straight out at an angle usually I hold my gun at an angle to blow out a petal for this technique I'm using the airbrush just about upright and once I get that ink moving I just continue to go around and around the sides of the petal and every time I do that, I get a new ripple. And I'm not concerned with the way the tips of the petals are looking because I am going to use my Posca pens to reshape the petals and make them look the way that I want to. Now this is a little time consuming. It takes a while to uh, get the petals the way you want them or to get these ripple, this ripple effect. But if you take your time and you're patient, it'll turn out beautiful. Now, it's been very humid, uh, a lot of rain here in New Jersey, so I'm having some serious issues with my airbrush spraying out water. I thought it was that the tip had fallen off the other day, but apparently it's more than that. I'm going to have to check my dehumidifier because maybe it's not working. So again, I added a little bit more alcohol to my bottle because I thought the ink was too dark and I wanted it to be a little bit lighter so I diluted it with more alcohol. And now I want to make my petals a little bit wider. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put down more alcohol and ink. And you can see that when I put the powder, pa, uh, puddle, <laughs> can't speak, put the puddle of alcohol and ink mixture onto the paper, I'm not making it in a perfect circle. I'm kind of elongating it. And you'll see in just a moment what I mean, in case you didn't notice before. See? And now I'm using short spurts in the middle as I begin to blow out the ink so that I get that little whitish or bluish area. It looks blue in this video in the center. And then I continue going around with the airbrush as you see me doing here. And I'm never blowing directly on the ink. I'm blowing only around the sides. So you can see in this one here that I'm getting a nice broad petal. If you start from the center with short spurts, it, it moves the ink outward so you'll get broader petals. Watch. Now there's some areas here where I have these narrow petals and here you can see I'm making broader petals and again using those short spurts of air as I begin to blow out the petal and then going around that puddle blowing from the outside and creating these broader petals. See? And by using those short spurts in the beginning, you also get that lighter area in the center. Now 
and now my airbrush is starting to spit out water. You can see those white marks on the pitch black on the last petal that I blew out. It's really annoying. So you can see it's starting to spit out again. They were turning out so beautifully. So now I'm taking a paper towel to try and lift some of that moisture off the paper, the water. And now I'm going to take a Posca pen with a finer nib and I'm going to define the shape of the petals that I want to keep in this painting. And I'm using a finer nib to start with and once I define the shape of the petals that I want to keep in this painting, I will use a Posca pen with a broader tip. And you'll see in just a moment what I mean. Now I could have blown out more petals, but because the um, airbrush was spitting out water, I decided to stop. And now here I'm using a black fine liner to go over the shape of the petals and define them a little bit more so that they don't blend one into the other. So now this Posca pen has a nice broad tip and I'm going to use this one to outline a little bit better. Now I'm not going to say that this is an easy technique. I found this out by accident. I was um, trying to do a video and I, I just it just happened and I thought, what a nice technique, how pretty this looks. So I played with it for a while and I was able to create some really interesting petals and I had to share it with you. So do practice, take your time. It's not going to turn out perfect the first time. But if you get it down, it's a really nice technique. So now you can see here, I have this humongous Posca pen and I'm filling in the background with it. And having these different size nibs really makes this easy. And if you don't have Posca pens, you can use black acrylic paint to uh, do your background. I don't recommend using alcohol ink to do the background because it'll come out very, um, very, uh, it doesn't come out smooth. It'll come out very streaky. So now I'm going to use a glass pen to do the center of this flower and the colors that I'm using for the center are the uh, liquid pearl dimensional paints in bronze and in slate. So I'm going to start by putting down my dots and I'm using large, large size dots for this particular center. I thought because of all the black, I needed something a little bit bold for the center. And once I get down all my dots, I use the glass pen to pull through each of those dots and bring the line towards the center of the flower. And now I'm just drying it a little bit and I don't really think this did much good because this paint is very, um, it's a very heavy bodied paint. So it does take a while to dry, but uh, I tried it anyway. So now I have the color slate and I'm putting in these elongated dots in between the gold dots that I put down earlier. And once I have them all down, I'll do the same with the glass pen, run it through each of the dots and angling it towards the center of the flower. And as I get down to the bottom, I make them a little bit smaller. So they're larger towards the top and at the bottom of the center, I make them a little bit smaller. And I'm trying to be careful because again, the gold is still wet, so I don't want to disturb the gold. So I'm trying to be very careful. And that's what makes using the glass pen so much easier because the tip of it is so tiny. Anyway, so we are getting close to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you give this flower a try, or rather this technique a try. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to answer and help in any way that I can. Check out the description box for links to the products used. 
Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's a nice way to show your support, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.